Are we on? Are we live? We're live. We are live. Hey, y'all. What's going on? All right. What's going on, everybody? Hi. That's all I got. All right. So I am, first of all, welcome, 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 and welcome again as I prepare to use some flour today. We are frying pork chops today, pork chops. And we are having um, a couple of other country items to go with it. But we're gonna do something a little different this week, y'all. Today, rather, we are going to be um, providing you guys with some information uh, that, that, that I think is pretty cool. First of all, it's about pork chops. It's, it's about pork chops. But we're not gonna have pork chops and applesauce, okay, which is the norm. We are literally going to have pork chops. We're going to have a spring salad to go with it. And we're also going to have just some nice buttery roasted over the stove in a skillet in Sally type of asparagus. That's all we are doing today. So I'm excited to have you guys join me with that. Um, what we're doing right now is we are preparing um, to season our meat. And guess who is getting ready to get real ghetto fabulous? Me. Okay. I'm going to do it the old school way. So normally my mother would use a paper bag to season her pork chops or chicken or whatever. Well, honey, let me tell you what I'm getting ready to do. I'm going to use some of my handy dandy. Um, we're going to use some of my handy dandy leftover Walmart bag. Let me make sure that there are no holes in them. So I already have my grease that is cooking or uh, heating up rather. And let me just double check it. Okay. <laughs> All righty. So we're getting there. We are slowly getting there. So I turned this on before I actually went live so that I could kind of keep an eye on um, the oil itself. We have already prepared and washed our uh, pork chops. So they're good to go. So pretty, pretty much what I'm doing is I'm getting ready to season my um, I'm getting ready to season my pork chops and also guess what else I'm gonna season the flour that it goes in. So here's the first thing that we're gonna do. First of all, it's too quiet in here for me, so I'm getting ready to turn on a little lo-fi jazz, something that is copyright appropriate, and then I'm gonna go ahead and grab my brownstone blends everyday blend so that we can use that to kind of season up our um, our meats over here, okay? And we're also going to be using our brown some blends for some other things as well. So let's get this party started. All right, all right, all right. Let me tell you what I did, y'all. I went on ahead and I went through my own stash. Hang on. I'm going to go ahead and turn this up. It's going to have a little background noise, a little song. Oh, I see why it's not. I can't. Let me tell y'all why you can't hear it. I turned it down last night. Hold on just a minute. I'm coming. Hold on. I'm coming. There we go. Ah, yes. Let's get into the mode. So let me tell y'all what I did. Okay. So these are brownstone blends. These are the individual packs. So if you order brownstone blends, this is what it's going to look like. So this is the... Why am I trying to do this without my glasses? Hold on, y'all. Okay. This is the cinnamon sugar nutmeg blend. So you see, we actually have them broken down now where you can order them one bottle at a time. Okay, so this is the garlic lemon pepper. And this is my infamous, infamous, this is my infamous everyday blend. So you're probably like, well, why is it so special? Well, because I blended it. I came up with the formula for it. Because 
it is, I have an, a condition called anosmia. So it's hard for me to smell and to taste specific food items or things for that matter. So I'm opening up my everyday blends. Did I just break a nail? I showed you. Okay, so we're gonna use this to season our meat. And then we're also going to use some additional seasonings that I have up here, cause it ain't, it ain't. So I'm taking off the top, the plastic to keep it sealed. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put some flour into our, oh, this is the wrong bag. We're gonna put some flour in our bag. We're gonna season it up. So our meat is already clean. We cleaned it up. I'm gonna put some uh, flour. Now I have more flour, but I'm gonna start with this. Oh, hell. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to help to attenuate the flavor of said flour by putting, and this is what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get y'all a little closer. That's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna go ahead and move you guys a little bit closer so we can be all up on each other and stuff. How about that? Yes. So y'all can keep me company over here while I'm cooking. So I have my asparagus. We have two asparagus spears that are ready to rock and roll. We're gonna wash those off and get those ready as well. And we're going to be using um, something super simple to kind of get them ready for you. So I'm going to be using Roger. Y'all know this is Roger now, right? Y'all know this is Roger. So we're going to be cutting up our asparagus on our cutting board over here. But the first thing I want to do is I want to start making sure that we get our meat ready to be fried. So I'm going to choose a couple of items here in addition to our regular blend let's see i'm gonna use a little adobo so i'm gonna use my adobo and i have some i don't want to use that so this is a friend of mine he has some spices as well i'm not going to use that uh, let's see i will use i'll just use some garlic powder and we'll also use some Let's use a little paprika for a little, you know, heat. Just a tiny little touch of heat, not a lot, but it'll also give your, um, it'll give your, uh, your, your pork chops a nice brown color. Just don't use too much because it'll make it super brown. And y'all think you don't burn something and you haven't. Okay, so I'm gonna also put a dogo in here. I'm actually taking the top off of these, you know, the little cover that you shake, because listen, I need all, the seasonings. I need all the seasonings. <laughs> okay, all right. So we got our music going. We good. We, we excited. We got things going. I hope that you guys have enjoyed your first day of the week. Um, I know I mine has been very interesting. Let me just say that. <laughs> Super interesting. I, ooh, mm, I don't have nothing to say. Now this is the everyday blends. I went on ahead and took the top off of it. And I'm gonna just go ahead and just shake some of this to my flour, okay? Now, I am also going to season the meat. That is something that a lot of people need to learn how to do. <laughs> Y'all need to learn how to season your meat as well before you put it in your, that's where you get that flavor from. You know what I'm saying? You get you that extra, you know, let the ancestors kind of tell you, well, Lord, that's enough. You don't want to over season. So you see how fast I'm moving? Okay, because we have meat that has been cleaned with lime juice and also with, of course, fresh cold water. All right, that's all you need. You got to remember when it, when it hits that heat, it's going to start killing some stuff. So you want to make sure you do that. So that is my garlic pepper, and I'm going to use my brownstone blends everyday blend to season my meat as well. And we're just going to shake that up. I'm going to actually take the top off because it drives me nuts. Now, one of the things. That I have to say is I like to go in ahead and sprinkle, you know. I like to go ahead and just sprinkle that on there and get that good flavor in there. You know what I'm saying? Just really, so I'm going to lean over. Y'all see, I'm just lightly. You don't even have to do a whole lot. You just need to go in ahead and just get your pork chops good and seasoned. Now, my oil is starting to bubble. Now, I have it on number two. And the reason why is because it's been heating up for some time. I don't like to rush my oil to heat up because it can be, it can burn. So your oil can burn, you don't want it to do that. All right, so now the next step is, 
is I'm going to shake up, hallelujah, I'm going to shake up my bag of flour with the seasoning in it, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. And um, get started with that and start placing some um, pork chops in our oil. So let's go ahead. We're going to shake it up real good too, honey. Look. So there's this TikTok of this guy talking about black mothers. When we shake up our seasoning and stuff, we just go in. We do. I want to make sure it's good and mixed up in there real good. You know what I'm saying? Just real, ooh, this real good. It's just buffing out all kinds of stuff. So that means there's a hole in here somewhere. So I'm going to put another bag inside of this bag. Or put these inside of another bag to kind of support the fact that it might be a hole in there. We go, okay, so I'm going to shake this up a little bit. Now you again, you can use paper bag, honey. You can put it in a bowl or whatever. But see, when I'm done with this, I'm going to throw it away. And clean and it's less mess for me to clean up. So here we go. I'm just shaking it up. And we're gonna make sure this shook up real good. To get that seasoning in there real good. And then we're gonna put our we're gonna put our meat in here. That's all we're doing. So it's seasoned up really, really well. I'm gonna just go ahead and just drop my meat in there right now. And I'm gonna turn my heat up on my stove so that we can go ahead and get a good rolling bubble on our pork chops before we get ready to put them in. Now it's gonna be super important for y'all to understand, you don't wanna put all of your meat in there at one time, cause then you won't get a good coating. So you to put about two or three good pieces in there and shake that up real good. Get it covered up real good. Close the bag, folks, close the bag, okay? And we're gonna put our, let's do, just double check and look at it really quick. Hold on, let me turn y'all around so y'all can see me. All right, here we go. So let's just double check and make sure all oh, baby is covered. It's covered, hallelujah. So it's been shaken up by the hands of a beautiful black woman. How about that? All right, so our meat is ready. And it's not quite ready, even though it's been heating up for some time. So I did turn it up. So watch what I'm doing. I'm just putting drops of flour in there to see if it bubbles. It hasn't bubbled yet. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna let it keep on heating up, heating up just a little bit. And in between that time, I am going to get ready to cut my um, asparagus. So let me go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna use just a regular old bread knife. We've washed off our, let's get those rubber bands off. We've washed off our asparagus really good. And Here's what I would encourage you guys to do. If you if you find a great place to get vegetables and stuff like that, go ahead and get them. And if you can, blanch them and freeze them. So when you catch stuff on sale, what is blanching? I'm sorry. You didn't know? Well, let me tell you. Blanching is basically preserving your vegetables so that you can freeze them. You're not cooking them 100% all the way through. You're just going to boil some water, put your vegetables in there, depending on what it is, like if it's corn or you know something like that, you're gonna blanch them where it, it softens them up just a little bit, maybe three to five minutes or so. You're gonna take it out. You're gonna put them in ice water. Then you're going to wrap your vegetables and put them in your freezer. The best thing to do is to make sure that when you're putting them in the freezer that you're sealing them. So you might wanna actually get one of those little sealers that you see where you get all of the air out. That would be the best thing to do. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off the portions of my asparagus, while I turn my skillet on, I'm gonna cut off the portions of my asparagus that are really no good to us, okay? And that's that woodsy part. So I'm going to, the reason why I chose this array is nice, I go ahead and get through, okay? Because folks are tired, they're hungry, at least I am. People are tired. Y'all, I'm, I'm at home, don't pay me no mind, okay? So what we're doing is we're just getting our veggies ready, and I'm gonna put a little butter in my pan over here. Okay, so we can go ahead and get our asparagus good and cooked. All right, so if you guys can see from over there, that's great. Not, ooh child, as tired as I am. So we're gonna again cut off the woodsy part and we're gonna throw this away. Okay, we don't need this. It ain't growing nothing. You can't do nothing with it, nothing. And then my famous loving sea salt. We're just gonna put that over top of our 
um, asparagus before we put it in the skillet or we put it in salad. We're going to put it in a beautiful, nice biscuit, not biscuit, what I'm talking about yesterday. See how fast. <laughs> I'm going to cut these up just a little bit more. So it looks like you're getting more than you really are. All right. I'm going to put this in some butter. That's how we're going to do this. So, so our, um, let's see, our oil should be ready. Let's double check. Oh, yeah, she good. I can see it now. I don't even need to put anything in it, but I can absolutely see where it's starting to cook. Now, what that means is I'm going to go ahead and put my pork chops in it. You, you see I'm using a Dutch oven as well. Let me kind of lean this a little bit forward so y'all can see my little wet hands. All right. That's a little bit better. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put my the first of several pork chops in here. Now here's another rule. You want your pork chops to go on your head and cook, put your one or two in there. You don't need to put a bunch of, um, oh, it's ready. It's cooking. Hey, put your two in there. Okay. Cause these are some pretty big pork chops. All right. These are not breakfast pork chops. This is just a regular pork chop. We're going to put this one in there as well. So I have it set to six. I'm going to put it on, it's on five and a half right now. So I'm going to put it on six and I'm going to go ahead and wash my hands and get ready to put some butter in that skillet. That's going to be cool because we can go ahead and cook our vegetables. Now I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to just do a myriad of different types of vegetables today so that we can have uh, something to go with it. So I'm going to use some of those onions left over from um, our Sunday meal. I have some of those left over. I also have some uh, real butter. Real butter is important, y'all. Butter is your friend, honey. Okay, the biggest reason why I say that is because, listen, folks, why are you using fake butter? It's not healthy for you, okay? So I'm just going to take this and cut the butter in half and I'm going to put it in my skillet. You guys can see Sally from there, I hope. And then I'm going to just uh, let her melt just a little bit and we're going to put our asparagus and other, yes, we good. Oh yeah, she good and cooking. She cooking with grace, child. Okay. All right, let me lean back just a little bit. Lean back. Lean back. All right, there we go. So we have our food that is cooking. I'm getting ready to put my asparagus in there. And then, like I said, I'm gonna also put some other veggies in there. And let me tell you, can I, tell, can I be honest with y'all the reason why I'm doing this? Cause I don't want the vegetables that I have to go to waste. So I'm gonna do like a, a, a quick uh, toss in this butter. We're gonna season it up really good with our everyday blends from Brownstone Blends. And then we're gonna continue to keep checking on our, our, um, our, our pork chops over here. Now, I'm going to tell you something else. You want really moist pork chops because pork chops can be kind of tough. Let me show you a trick. Wasn't that easy? So, let me explain to you what this does. This actually seals in the moisture when you're cooking, right? So, you ever seen your big mama do this? That's the reason why, because she wanted the chicken to be moist. And she also wanted to make sure that it cooked thoroughly. Cooking it like this by putting the top back onto it helps to seal in the juices in the meats, um, your chicken, your uh, your pork that you're frying, things like that. And when you take the top off, you leave the top off and allow it to continue to cook so that you can get that crispy outside. There are several other ways to do it. And one day I'll probably come on here and show you how to do that by dredging and also um, uh, a wet dry blend of your, your, your seasoning and your flour that will allow you to be able to kind of, um, you know, make that crispy outer layer. So we have, we have our, and let me tell y'all something, you ever put, took the top off, you ever took the top off of something that's frying real good, ever? And the scent hits the house? 
You ain't lived yet. You didn't have the hot for childhood I did. Honey, you can smell my mother's fried chicken from the street. <laughs> okay? That's how it used to be. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and dump my asparagus into... Once again, brownstone blends, everyday blend is available for you at brown, mybrownstoneleader.com. Okay? All right. Now, we're going to continue to keep making it happen, Captain, over here with our beautiful um, blend of seasonings and our vegetables. Okay? Again, you're going to cut off the, the woodsy part of the asparagus and you're just going to make it do what it do. All right? I, you know what? I probably did call KJ in my mind. Hey, KJ! I called you that time! So, I don't have any paper towels. I need him to go into my washroom room where we keep all of our paper products and bring me some paper towels. All right, now let's check on our pork chops. Just get yes. Just screaming out loud, KJ! KJ! <laughs> All right, let's see. Can you get me a um some paper towels and bring down here? And I know we have some. Woo! Listen. Um, let's see. Um, I don't think where are my tongs? Okay, now I got I'm in my feelings because I don't see my tongs, y'all. And my tongs are like my bestie. Where's my tongs, y'all? I see everything else with my tongs. I'm in my feelings now. All right, so we all oh, here they are in my face. <laughs> all right, so let's go ahead and check our pork chops and see how they're doing because now it's time for me to start getting them out of the oil. Look at that. Ooh, he's busy. Baby, baby, baby. Look at that. I am frying pork chops. Okay, Jay. Hmm. All right. Now, as you can see, the meat is starting to shrink up. But what I'm not going to do, I'm going to separate them and I'm going to leave the lid off at this point. Now, what I would encourage you to do is, is at this point, kind of pay attention to like all of the areas here that can get like grease splatter. If you don't have um, one of the big things that you can put over top to stop the grease splatter from happening, y'all know what I'm talking about. The little shield or whatever you can you can actually buy those um i'll probably share a place where y'all can get them but um use my paper towels praise the lord and um there you go we're good to go now our pork chops are frying 
we have this beautiful blend over here of tomatoes, green onions, and we also have this beautiful asparagus. So we looking good over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my oven to about 350 degrees. And we're gonna put this concoction in the oven with some cheese on top. Woo! Y'all didn't, didn't see that coming, did you? Yes, honey. Um, we're gonna we gonna definitely do that. So I'm just gonna continue. You know, if you know it's getting good to you when you fry and you put your hand on your hip. Look at that. All right, now you want to make sure that you're draining your oil when you fry your pork chops. You want to drain those pork chops when you're frying them. Let me say it to you like that. Let me tell you what I don't want to do. I don't want to use one of my big platters that I saved specifically for holidays. So I'm just going to use like a regular plate and a paper towel. All right. So let me go ahead and clean up my mess. I always like to do a clean as you go. Let me put a little bit more sea salt over here. Okay. I hope that y'all gave one better than mine did. <laughs> I hope it did. Oh my goodness. Oh. 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 Praise the Lord. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off because we don't need it anymore. Our babies are pretty much cooked. We're just going to roast them really good and put that. Um, I have to roast them at like 400 degrees or whatever, but why? Because I'm sitting here running my mouth. And doing the thing so i have the top off so our pork chops can continue to kind of brown and i'm gonna take it out the oil and um, let it drain y'all i have had a day you know what i'm saying i have had a day a day a day it has really been a day i, I have no words for what today has been like but Enough about that. I hope that you enjoyed. Oh, this is even better. Y'all, I hope I can get up here. Here's what I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to get my stool. I'm gonna have to get my stool because I'm short. I am too short to reach the top. So, for safety's sake, I encourage everybody to go and get you a stool, okay? Amina thinks this is her stool. She even says, Mimi, you bought me a stool. Girl, I got this at Ross, honey, for $8. Nice sturdy stool, so I can get up to the top here and get my container. So let's talk about this container, y'all. So this container is going to be what we're going to store the pork chops in if nobody gets to eat tonight if they don't want to, right? So I'm going to go ahead and put this back. All right, we're frying. We're gonna lay down some paper towels so that we can get some of that oil drained off of our pork chops. We got the oven that's on. So I'm gonna layer this about two paper towels deep, okay? All righty. And the only thing that you're trying to get this to do is to brown. You see that? It's starting to brown. Look at that, okay? That's all you're trying to get it to do. It's pretty brown. So I'm going to go ahead and start draining some of that oil off of there. And then we're going to put some extra pork chops in there. Now, if you want it darker than that, I don't. Um, go ahead and by all means, let it stay in the oil a little bit longer. I would absolutely encourage that if that's your thing. But I don't think that there's anything wrong with the current pork chops the way that they are. What I am going to do shake up my little bag a little bit more and we're going to put some more pork chops and I'm only putting two in here because these suckers are huge look at the size of that pork chop y'all see that we're going to be eating off of this for days we're not big eaters in this house believe it or not we are not there it is all right now I can put some more pork chops in here, so that's going to get ready to do, so I can shake that up. 
and then I can start cleaning out my sink. So I'm shaking it up again. I'm going to do it over top of the sink. Now I want to put another pork chop in there. So I shook that up. She's a bubbling. She's a bubbling. Okay. So we have some additional. Look at that. Oh, we like a science project, child. Look. We're gonna put that in there, and guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna put the top on it. Okay. We're gonna put the top on it. I'm going to put my veggies in the oven. Okay. Because they're so pretty. We want to make sure that they get a nice little coating on it with that butter. And then I'm going to put some cheese on it. Throw some cheese on it, on it. <laughs> All right, you guys. While that is preparing, and I'm wiping stuff down, it's just hot. I forgot about that. Um, I want to definitely share with you guys. Um, first of all, thank you for all of you all who are listening, who are watching, who are paying attention to the changes that are happening at the Brownstone. We do absolutely appreciate you guys. Um, this particular rendition of Tips, Topics, and Talk is really about like just hanging out, laughing and talking, enjoying some time with some folks, you know, that kind of thing so that you are able to relax at the end of your day and just watch somebody else do the cooking. Now, listen, if I were in your area, I would deliver. However, however, I am not in your area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start cleaning out my sink. Super important. So I washed my meat in this portion of the sink. I'm going to put you a little cleaner in there. So this cleans, this is a Clorox Pro that I bought. I'm going to go ahead and put that in the sink along with it while I work. Chops are cooking. Do not be afraid of the noise and a little comment. Yes. Yes, honey, I'm that person. I, I put everything in there to kind of clean it up a little bit. Don't judge me. Judge yourself. All right. Now, what you guys are hearing is the sweat. I'm going to take that off. Look at that. How stankin'. Y'all hear me? You're stankin'. There we go. So the sweat is dropping into the hot oil, causing the noise that you hear. So don't freak out, okay? I just want to make sure that we get that flavor in there really good. And I'm going to start washing out my hands. All right? Clean it out really good because we, we had raw meat in here. Okay? Give y'all a tip. Never, never, never use your garbage compactor, your trash compactor, your garbage disposal without running water going into it. Make sure it's cold water. Okay? That'll help to preserve your trash compactor. Okay. All right, so we got that cleaned out. And this kind of helps at the end because then, whoever they is to wash dishes, they don't have to worry about this part because I, I took care of it. All right, so there we go. We got all of that wiped out. We're good to go. That was your tip for today, by the way, y'all. That was your tip. Okay, so we are frying. We got little stuff happening over here, honey. And so listen, what I am going to do is let you know how you can get your brownstone blend package. Of course, I'm going to tell y'all how to do that. And, and, and shout out to the people who have their brownstone blend. Too many of y'all at this point to um, mention, but I do appreciate you guys. Purchasing your brownstone blend. I really, I really, really do. It is it has been a blessing. Okay, to be able to have you guys to purchase those items and actually use them. Can't make that up. Can't make it up. All right. Now, you go ahead and clean my little glasses. All right. 
Okay, so we have some. Ooh, it's so pretty. I would, ooh, ooh, it's so pretty. Let me see if I can. It's so pretty. I might not even put anything on those vegetables. They're so pretty. They really are. Okay. So how do you get brownstone blends? Just call that, how do you get those brownstone blends? I want my own brownstone blends. You know, you'd be surprised. I was really surprised at the amount of people that inbox me and say, do you still have the brownstone blends? So that's one of the reasons why I'm cooking with them so that you can, you can actually see how I use them. It's just everyday stuff, right? Mine is just seasoned to the place or to the point where I can taste food better because I have such a hard time doing so. Okay, so um, let me see if y'all can see. Y'all can't see that. Y'all still can't see that. Okay, so I'm gonna stop trying. I'm gonna wait till I take it out of the oven and let you all see it. Okay, so I'm wiping this down. So let's talk about um, tips, topics, and talk. So that's what you're actually watching right now is tips, topics, and talk. And um, I just want to thank you guys for those of you all who are um, avid listeners. You're watching what's going on. I definitely want you to go ahead and get your Brownstone Blend Seasoning Starter Pack. But now, when you go to the website, you're going to start seeing where you'll be able to get it individually. And it'll come like this, okay? It'll come like this. So this is the Garlic Lemon Pepper Blend. You can actually order this alone, single, by itself. It'll be crying because it won't have a whole set with it. So it'll be lonely, but you can absolutely go ahead and order this at mybrownstoneliving.com. Brownstone Blend Seasoning Starter Pack is still available. If you would like it, you'll get all four blends. That would be the everyday blend that we're using for the pork chops. You'll also receive the garlic lemon pepper, which is this one. We also have our turmeric jerk jerk if you want a little bit of heat. Okay, nothing where it's spicy, where it's going to be uncomfortable for you to eat it. And then also we have our cinnamon, nutmeg, and sugar blend that's available to you. The reason why I started doing this was because my kids were like, uh, Mother, you should be selling this. You, this is good. Thank you. So that's the reason why I started doing it. And so here you go. This is an individual package. All right. Now, um, something else. Oh, baby, these, these, this, will, this is going to be fast. Okay. <laughs> All right. So also, guys, don't forget, if you want to become a part of the Brownstone family, you want to become a contributing writer, if you want to become one of the air personalities, go ahead and send us an email at contact at the brownstone sound dot com. Contact at the brownstone sound dot com. You'll absolutely enjoy it. It's a lot of fun um, to be a part of the internal circle that's starting to grow and. Um, I wanted to make sure that we were able to talk about was making sure, ooh, what happened? What just happened? So contact at thebrownstonesound.com. Okay, I put that there. Here's the website. You can check out what we have going on at mybrownstoneliving.com. I'm sharing this with you now because this is getting ready to change, folks. We're getting ready to get to the point where brownstoneworldwide.com is going to be the new website where you can get everything. If you want to take a listen to KCCR, thebrownstone.com, you can actually go to the website on your phone, okay? When you do that, you're going to see all kinds of stuff at the top where you'll be able to participate. You'll be able to uh, become a part of the marketplace and stuff like that. So that's available to you as well, okay? Completely up to you. But if you know anybody that is trying to get some advertising to our over 127,000 followers and listeners and viewers worldwide, I would absolutely have them come and check us out. I absolutely would, okay? So our marketplace rates are really comparable right now. It is our early bird price because it's not going to stay this way because once the change comes, the price is going to be the price. So I encourage you to get in now, get your product, get your service in front of our eyes, in, in front of the eyeballs of our, our viewers, and also get your product in front of our listeners as well because they're actually able to see your banners and stuff depending on what, which rate that you go with, because we have three tiers. We have the stoop, we have the corner, and we have the block. You can choose any one of those to get your mar to get your marketing um, across to um, your, your, your followers and your listeners. So let's go ahead and take a look at our, let's see, our pork chops, honey. They just over here just, right. look, y'all see that? 
I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna take that out of and this is how you know that it's ready it's floating it's floating that's how you do that you see that in that just golden brown look at that okay I wanted to talk about something really quick while we're over here. Let me go ahead and drain this in this oil, I mean, in this paper towel. I'm gonna put some more pork chops on there. So I'm sitting here and I am frying this pork chop and I'm cooking asparagus and cherry, cherry tomatoes and doing all this other stuff. And y'all, I just came from a meeting um, with people and, and I am, <laughs> trying to get acclimated to some new things that are happening on the J-O-B. And it's like, y'all, come on, come on, come on, come with it. And I just realized that I am one of millions of women who literally are, are working, coming home, taking care of the kids, and all of that stuff, either with a partner or by themselves. I wish somebody would have something to say about something that looks like it is lacking in anything that I'm doing in terms of running my household at this point in the game, okay? And I'm saying that on behalf of all of the working women that I know that still come home, we still cooking, we still cleaning, we're still raising babies, we're still doing all of the things. Somehow we have uh, community stuff that we're part of. Somehow we're, we're building businesses and we're doing all of the stuff that comes with being what it is to be a woman in the US of A. We're doing everything. I wish somebody would have something to say right now about anything that I got going on in this household. I really, I really wish somebody would, honestly. Okay? Because it's a lot of work. And I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that it's not because it is. This is a lot of work. Okay? All right. And I'm not fussing. That's not what I'm doing. I, was, I said that because I was watching a broadcast last night on Facebook. I do try to watch other people's lives, right? So this young lady was on there. She was talking. Her name is Nico Cherie. You probably have recognized her, known about her. She's into real estate. I, I watch her frequently, right? Because she keeps it 100. She was talking about how most women nowadays, honey, we're doing everything. We're doing everything. We're paying the bills. we working. We're building businesses. We have multiple streams of income. If we don't have multiple streams of income, we're working on it. We're trying to get there. We're taking care of the kids. We're doing all of this. Then I have nerves come on here live, live, okay, and get real comfortable around you guys. And I'm cooking. I'm cooking like I'm my mama, right? So I'm cooking like this was an era where my mother literally, what she did, now, my parents did have a business. They owned a daycare and a trucking company, okay? So um, what she did was she ran the daycare and took care of people's children, single moms that couldn't get by and stuff like that. Her and my dad did that. And these are my foster parents, by the way. But um, what they would do, what she would do is somehow food got ready at six o'clock every single day without fail it was all we had to set the table y'all call we had to do all of that okay so when i hear about people that's eating in front of the tv it blows my mind like we didn't grow up like that you're going to eat at this table where it is set that you set, and you're going to eat right here with the rest of us so um so many women that i know grew up in an era where you had to know how to cook you had to know how to clean take care of the household take care of the family and then the world changed and we became responsible for taking care of everything, as we always have. Now, that's not a cut on men. Let me be clear. Let me be clear. That is not where I'm going with this. Um, not at all. That is that is not my intention. My intention is, is to make a point. And my point is, is that so many of us are doing, we're wearing multiple hats. And we're taking care of so many things. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen... To everybody who's listening to the sound of my voice, cut yourself some slack, okay? I need you to cut yourself some slack, honestly, and keep it 100 and real with yourself that it's okay if something doesn't get folded today. It's okay if something doesn't happen today, okay? And we're going to be talking about that tomorrow and how you can actually keep yourself organized because y'all already know that um, I use a planner and I want to show you how to use a planner. 
but this isn't even really about this. I just wanted to come on here and give a shout out and show some love to the people that are making it happen, Captain, regardless. You coming home, you cooking, you making sure the house is straight, you making sure everybody is doing their part. You know how to come in and to be a part of the bigger picture for your entire family and being the stand up person that you are. You are looked at and revered as the head of your household because you holding it down by any means necessary to making things happen. So shout out to you for that and give yourself some slack and also give yourself some grace for the things that are happening right now in your personal life and your business or whatever. But um, I just had to say that because after listening to um, this young lady talk, again, her name is Nico Cherie, N-E-K-O. C-H-E-R-I. You definitely need to follow her. It might not be your flavor how she talks, but she definitely has it in for black women and making sure that we're empowered and making sure that we're getting all of the things that we need in terms of learning and, and things of that nature um, when it comes to real estate and, and building for a, building a legacy for your family and for your future. You know what I'm saying? And I appreciate people that are able to do that. Over and over and over again, we have so many people that have so many skills and talents that they're offering, and, and we need to give people their flowers. So I'm, I'm just definitely going to show y'all some love and say, y'all need y'all flowers today, because y'all, I know y'all out here working real hard, doing all kinds of stuff, you know, and then when something slips up at the house, like nobody washes the dishes today, you have worked 10 to 12 hours today. Then you got to come home and see about other folks that's been here all day. I'm not talking about my household. They do not want me to raise hell, so this just get done daily, okay? Uh, but vacuuming and dusting and, and laundry and making sure that things are straight and, and finding a way to, to take care of the bills and, and, and savings and all of that stuff. So let me go ahead and take the top off of this one, and let's take a look at where we currently are. All right? Let's look at where this pork chop is, baby. Attention to the pork chop, not my shirt. Pay attention to the pork chop, not my shirt. <laughs> so now we're going to let this continue to cook with the top off so it can go ahead and continue to brown and starting to float. So we're good. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and take um, our veggies out of the oven. Pretty they are. Look at that. In butter. In the butter. In the butter. All right. So now I'm just going to put a little bit more of my. Where are we at? There we go. I'm just going to put a little bit more salt. You don't need a whole lot. On the top. All right, and then we're going to kind of shake this up just a little bit with a, a tossing in the butter. All righty. I'm not going to put any cheese on it. I'll change my mind. Okay? Because so this will be good just like this. Now, if anybody wants any cheese, it'll be because I made some macaroni and cheese, okay? So do keep that in mind. It's completely up to you. Now, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and start draining our pork chop. Drain the pork chop. You see that? It's done. Now, if you want it darker than that, by all means, go ahead and make it darker for yourself. I prefer not to have a dark pork chop. You just want it slightly brown. And again, you can you can achieve that with your paprika. Okay? A little smoky flavor, and then you have your pork chop that's good and brown. All righty. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to plate one up because we're almost out of time. And I know y'all don't want to see me stand here and do all this now cooking and just running my mouth and stuff. <laughs> okay. So we're, we're just going to keep finished. And this, y'all, this pack, it was, it was like $11. But I thought, wow, we definitely want to make sure we take advantage of that right now. 
So we're gonna put our seasoned meat in. And y'all know what? That was the last piece of pork chop. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this away, okay? Hey, KJ! Alright, we're we'll gonna go ahead and put the top back on there, let it cook. Our oven is off. I'm going to go ahead and plate this up. I did. Would you be so kind as to come and taste um, our food? Please. Yes, honey, we are making pork chops. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and move this back over. Gonna move this over, y'all. We so country, just man, I'm country. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and load this back up. Move this back up. Yep. All right, so we're gonna plate up our food. First things first. Let's go ahead, and I need to put our pork chops over here. See our pork chops here? We're good to go. Mm-mm. All right, now, also, can you pass me Roger? Oh, I got it. We'll put Roger down so I can put the we'll skillet up. That is Roger. Everybody knows that's Roger, and this is Sally. We're about to put Sally over here, honey. And we are going to play the hot, 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 Y'all can tell I work in the restaurant industry, didn't you? Mm. That's the famous word. Somebody is in front of you, they don't see you behind you. You scream hot, 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 hot. All right, so here we go. Y'all know how we like to do. And there is our food. We're good to go. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we are going to plate up our meal. So first thing first, we're gonna put this pork chop on this plate for my son. Perfect for him. And we're going to do some of this asparagus and tomato. KJ, by all means, help yourself. Now, here's something else. I'm gonna pour me a glass of wine. What you gonna do? Let me pour me one. Boy, bye. You better carry on. <laughs> you better carry on. You already know better. So I'm gonna just do a little moscato. And as you can tell, we still, we're still cooking. We're frying our last two pieces. So y'all don't need me for that. We'll turn the oven off. And she's sweating real good. So that's good. Not like tomatoes, y'all. Hey, 
He says that now. I used to hate green beans. Hate green beans. Oh my God. Who hates green? Who hates I green hate beans? beans. Y'all, let me tell you, I was so bad at one time that I used to take, when I was a little girl, I used to take my green beans and I would I would tuck them under my plate. Right? What's wrong? It's the tomato. Oh my God, something my son doesn't like that I cook. It's a, it's a tomato. I hate tomatoes. It don't matter who cooks. Y'all hear that? Y'all heard it first, right? Wait till he, wait till he, Wait till somebody else cook it for him. Okay. All right, go ahead. <clears throat> so what do you think? You good. Yeah. You got that mm. Y'all, this was fun. What am I gonna do with this boy? Would you stop? Uh, Quit. Stop it, girl. No, I'm big. Let okay. What? If you don't carry on, you know, I'm the one that's big. So listen, y'all. Before, Let me before, give me a glass. You better get you a glass of Kool-Aid. That's what you better do. How about that? So, y'all, listen. This has been a lot of fun. What did we do? We made pork chops. Okay? We made fresh fried pork chops. And you're going to hell. Okay? <laughs> Keep playing. Keep playing. Keep playing. You better get you some Kool-Aid. But listen. Um, we have our oven roasted in butter. Um asparagus and cherry tomatoes and then we also have our pork chops i was gonna do a salad but we already have um the vegetables so it's not necessary and then you guys see how i actually made i'm gonna go ahead and break off a piece of this what oh it is soft oh it's moist come on somebody y'all i'm about to make me a plate okay that's what we're getting ready to do so remember go ahead Download the KCCR, the Brownstone app. Listen in tomorrow, the day shift, the hot lunch mix. We have tea time with Nikima E, honey. We have Cullen's Corner replays that are happening throughout the day. We got music to tickle your ears while you're working. We got up-to-date news. You can find out all about our current ads and things like that that are coming up. And if I were you, I would go ahead and I would check out KCCR. Here come everybody. I want y'all to know everybody that came down. Everybody that came down. So everybody's ready to eat, y'all. I love it. This is when you know you have done your job. They are coming out of the woodwork. What do you, you, wait a minute, Paul, what? Uh-uh, don't do it. You better come out here and fix you a plate, little girl. I done did all this frying. You don't play me. <laughs> Don't play. Really it's no, it's not. It's right here. Make a plate. I'm make a mina plate. Cut her meat up. Yes, that's all right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So, um, all you have to do is have me stand over here. She don't want to be on camera, y'all. So we're not gonna put her on camera. Okay. And um, we have Minnie Mouse. She's gonna come back here. Like, it's so funny. As soon as the food was ready, here comes everybody. And that's the idea. You want to make sure that your food smells so good that they come out their rooms. And that's exactly what happened after I had a long day at work. And from what I'm understanding, I'm not done. All right. So I'm going to be answering some emails. Then I'm going to jump right into KCCR, the Brownstone, and also Brownstone Worldwide. Get ready, y'all. We have so many things that are coming in store for you. But again, if you want to be a part of the Brownstone family, let us know. Let us know. Send us an email. Let's talk. Okay, let's do that. All right, my time is up here. Three things that I always like for you all to do. One, love your life. It is the only one that you have. Two, live your life to the fullest and enjoy and embrace and inhale every single moment because one day you're not going to be here. So make it count. And lastly, breathe through every single moment, no matter what happens, no matter what it looks like, no matter how the world smacks you upside the face. Remember, what did you ask for? Breathe through every single moment. You guys, I'm out of here. I will see you on another edition of Tips, Topics, and Talk.